pragmatism, equations, love, prosperity, wealth, and other sorts of things, we come down to one thing. How do we escape our minds? And when we were put on this earth, we were put on this earth not to be normal, cliche, but to be extraordinarily akurat. So, not using your brain is a sin. I mean, either your brain is going to control you or you will control your brain. The truth shall set you free. And now I would like to introduce to you the quantum philosophies of international business. And many of you may ask, what is QPIB? Well, I'm about to explain. So, put in your learning caps, sit in your chair, strap your seatbelt, because it's time to go, baby. It's time to go. <laughs> All aboard the Mick Hype Express. It's high. I got a chance to become uh, the Mozart of quantum physics, as you would call it. The Mozart. As you know, that Mozart composed a variety of great songs, great musical pieces. And when we come down to quantum physics, we have physicists like Albert Einstein, ah, the Albert Einstein tongue, Sir Isaac Newton, and this man right here, who's very, very important, the most important man in quantum physics ever, his name is Max Planck. And that is the father of quantum physics. I've also had the luxuries of learning from the whole entire billionaire class of 2011-2012. We got billionaires like Richard Branson, Eat Batista, Lee Kashin. He's my favorite. I just like his name. <laughs> you know who this man is? Bill Gates. Bill Gates, founder and the father of Microsoft. You got... Who is he? Nobody knows who this man is. Warren it's Buffett. not Steve Jobs. That's Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett. Investment guy. He's, he's, he's Warren Buffett. You know, I like Warren Buffett. He's a real cool man. You know, he's a real cool man. Does anybody recognize this face here? Oprah. Oh, wow. Oprah Winfrey. That's right. That's Oprah Winfrey. And we have Sam Watson, the inventor of Walmart, who's maximized the whole retail world. And then we got the Prince of Capital. Does anyone know who he is? He owns it. He owns Telecom. This is Mr. Carlos Slim Healy. Number one on the billionaire's list. Network 69B. Mexico. You're right. He owns Telmex. So today, we're going to start the quantum philosophy bit. Uh, quantum philosophy is an international business. First, just discussing the billionaire how-to. The three fundamental strategies and the key principles. So I would like if you take a moment, soak this in. Okay, now I should explain. Three fundamental principles. Consolidated industry. Pick your industry. What do you like to do? What do you like to do, sir? Play the drums. Play the drums. So, music will be your industry. You will consolidate that industry. You will immerse yourself in data in that industry. You will know that industry inside and out. Inside and out. You can fully consolidate it. Next, outmanage the competition. Manage. When, you, when you're at Chick-fil-A, what, what is something you, you guys do? To, as a manager, you, you must make sure that everything is intact. Everything, precisely, correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay, sir. So, making sure that everything is precisely intact, you understand that we must outmanage the competition. And how do you do that? Well, you have to know every single trend that's going on. Every, any, any, any new thing, you have to know about it. You have to know your market inside and out. So we can say social media. I, I, I'm, you know, pretty fine with social media. So I would say that, you know, I know my market inside and out. I get on Facebook. 74 hours of my day. <laughs> I get on Twitter just to check in, log in, you know, talk crap to CNN, tell them that I'm on my way, and uh, I hit up a few brands, and that's that's my end run on, on Facebook. I mean, on Twitter, and then I go on YouTube, and that's where I party. You know, that's where I dance. That's where I do me. <laughs> <laughs> now, number three, in my favorite, you must thrive on deals. And Sam Walter actually precisely did this the best. And what he did was he owned discount retailing stores. And he thought, he said, okay, well, maybe if I undermine all of the prices, buy mine at wholesale, buy my, buy my stock at wholesale, overstock, then I can sell this for cheap, really, really cheap. So that's the first three fundamentals to QPIB and how to be a billionaire. 
Now we go into the key, to, into the key principles. As we progress, we must keep on growing. Make mistakes and then learn from them. Develop a thick skin. Use financial leverage. And hard work is essential. They say copy and paste better than innovate. And how do we apply these strategies to quantum physics, mass media, e-commerce, and international trade, insourcing and outsourcing? Well, in 1900, Max Planck, once again, the father of quantum physics, he said he made an assumption that energy was made of individual units or quanta. And how do we apply that to corporations? Well, we look at energy as human beings. As human beings, we are energy. We are mass. We are quantas. And as we look inside the corporate, corporate structure, as I have over here, exile on the board, we have our quantas. We say that, you know, this could be negative energy, this could be positive energy, this could be positive energy. At this branch, I know that I'm going to have to remove this, this person with negative energy off the top. He, he's, adding, he's adding negativity to my brand. He has to go. He has to go. I want to replace him with a positive. And we have Albert Einstein, 1905. He theorized that not just energy, but the quanta was also, you know, Radi uh, radii, radiation. Ah, the radiation itself is also quantized. Sorry. And how do we do this in corporate structure? Now we look again. We come to this board. We have radiation. Radiation is, is what your body is getting off your org, your body. And what you want to do, you want to check each branch and make sure everybody's radiating at the same pace, at the same time. And then, the best man of all. Mr. Louis Debra Guy. Now, what he, what, he, what he told was the principle of wave particle duality. And what that is, is basically wave particle duality is when a wave or particle either reacts depending on what 